Mm. Hello. Right, let me find this. I'm just coming on to do some crafting because I'm bored and I'm feeling better. Um, let's find this. Let's find the group. So I can see if anybody's on. Probably all the way out shopping, but that's fine. I'm just going to come on and craft and make some more of these lovely little um, easel cards. How cute are these? Fabulous. So if anybody comes on for a wee blather, hello, hello. Right. So what do I need? I did write down the instructions because I was a bit to and fro with the first card I made. So I've got some instructions here. So I'm just going to craft my wee heart away. Say hi if you're watching. Um, right, cardstock. We are going to use some Night of Navy, my thanks. Hello, everyone. I'm just coming on for some ad hoc crafting. I made that on the live this morning on my business page and I thought I'll come on and make some more because I have got this designer series paper to use up. So why not just keep going making some blue cards. Uh, right, let me see. Now I'm going to be using the reverse patterns because I'm going to make some blue themed Christmas cards. Um, but just use whatever you have in your stash. I do want white for the matte layers, so let me get some white out. We're going to need a, cup, um, a die cut circle. So I've got two here, so I think I'll make another two cards. Right, now. Uh, where's my trimmer? So... A4 sheet, we want to cut, cut it down to 9 and 7 eighths and then cut it in half. And I've got this the wrong way round. I hope everybody's well. Right, so 9 and 7 eighths, if I've measured it right. Okay. And then we're going to cut this in half to 4 and 1 eighth. So that's what we need for the card base. We need to score it at 4 inches. So make sure you cut the blades away. Okay, so there's one. And here is two. So shout out to my lovely team lady Gemma who inspired me. And she sent me a card similar to this oh well over well over a year ago. And I've always kept it in my little inspiration box, so I cased it. But this is one I made this morning. Right, so two card bases. What we need to do is, hi everyone, is make this panel here. So this measures two inches by eight and seven sixteenths. So that is a sixteenth shorter than, uh, what do you call it? Eight and a half. So I'm just going to cut down two inch strips now. Make sure it's all lined up. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope everybody's good. Right, so eight and a half. We just want to take it a tiny little 16. Okay, so there's one. So it's just one little 16th less than eight and a half inches. Or you could call it eight and seven sixteenths. But I think it's easier just taking that away from the um, eight and a half. Right, we want to score it on both sides at two and one eighth. So just flip that round. Two and one eighth. Okay, that gives you this bit, which we shall glue onto the bottom here. And this folds in like so. So let's score the second one. So two and one eighth, really easy to make. I think I might try some bigger sizes actually. 
two money. Perfect. Right, so first things first, we stick the panel on the back of the cards and then we'll cut all the mats in layers, kind of like as we go. So I've written all those down. I was just guesting meeting them when I was on my live this morning. Right, so pop your pieces like so and we're going to glue these on the back. Now, always use wet glue with things like this so you've got some wiggle wiggle room. Oh, hang on, I'm going to plug my phone in. There we go. Might as well get some power to it while, uh, while I'm crafting. So, home alone today. So, we want to put this in the bottom of the biggest section of your card. Okay, make sure it's all lined up. Perfect. Home alone, just enjoying the peace and quiet. Okay, so that's the first one on. Let's do the second one. I'm going to go for a bath shortly, but at the minute, what I've done is I've taken, um, recently washed some carpets and I've taken the, um, all the bits off my car carpet washer and I've popped them in the bath, full of fairy up liquid, just to give them a good soak and a good clean out. So once they're all rinsed out and what have you, I'm going to go for a nice bath. Right, so we've got these two bits. Ta-da! Perfect. Awesome. So, I need to remember I'm cutting two at a time. Because we're making two cuts. So, matte layers. I've chosen white for the matte layers. So, one A4 sheet should be enough. So, we need... The main matte layers are... This inner panel, the top panel, and then the inside and outside of these smaller panels. And then we'll do a matte layer on the back at the end. So the inside panels are, do, 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 do. what are they, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. So five and five eighths is the eighth of an inch in between five and three quarters and five and a half. And these measure three and seven eighths. And three and seven eighths. Perfect. So that is for inside. Like so. And then we need the panels for on the top. What is everyone up to? Yes, I am live. Just a little random live, Karen, because I am bored. I am bored. We need two um, pieces that measure three and seven eighths by. Now, wait there now, because I think I might have written this down wrong. Three and seven eighths by four. Which means a mat layer um, would be three and five. Eighths by three and seven eighths. Yeah, I've got that written down now. I didn't actually write that down. Right, so three and seven eighths by four. So this goes on like so. Three and seven eighths by four. Perfect. Now, I think I actually, that's not as much of a gap. Mm. That should be the same. Oh, hang on, I've got it the wrong way around. Yeah, so it's the same width. Yeah, so make sure it's on the right way. So three and seven eighths by... Three and seven eighths, I think it is. Three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. No, it needs a wee bit shorter. Three and seven eighths by three and three quarters. Let's try that. Three and seven eighths by three and three quarters. That's better. Perfect. Three and three eighths. 
So three and seven eighths by three and three quarters. Um, perfect. So three and seven eighths by three and three quarters. Karen, you're only halfway through cleaning still. Oh, bless. I did mine earlier. There wasn't much to do, to be honest, because I did um, a little bit yesterday. Right, that's perfect. So it's three and seven eighths. Let me see. It's three and seven eighths across the way and three and three quarters down the way because it measures four and one eighth across and four down. That's what I was getting mixed up at. Right, so that's fine. So that's those panels. And now we need four of these wee bad boys. So these are two by one and seven eighths. And we've got these bits left, so I think there's enough. So two by one and seven eighths, yep. So you're only going to need one sheet of A4 cardstock for all the mats for these two cards. Unless you're putting an extra mat on the back. So there's two. I need another two that means you're two inches by one and seven eighths. Perfect. And that's because those little panels measure two by two and one eighths roughly. So get them all the right way round. And they are going to go on like this. Let's see what we, yeah, the other way. Right. So, oh, you need four pair cards. So you do need more cards to catch. So that's fine. Another little scrap here. So two inches by, see these come in great, these little scraps. One and seven eighth. One and seven eighth. One and seven eighth. That one's already got a tiny little cut through it. But you know what? I'm not bothered. I'm just going to slice that little smidgen off. Better than wasting it. So two by oh that's too short. Two by one and seven eighths. Fabulous. I will write up a blog for this um, eventually with some written instructions. So that's the mats done for the first card. And then that's the mats done for the second. So we'll just go ahead and glue all these on and then I shall um, cut up some DSP to put on. Now again, make sure these are going on the right way. Yep. Fabulous. Right. Oops. To get all these stuck on. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So these are going to be blue themed Christmas cards. Right, so measure up to make sure it's the right way. Because like we say, there's two. Uh, the lengths are different. So make sure you're popping it on the right way or you'll be like, oh, what have I done? What have I done? Right, okay. And make sure it goes down nice and straight. Give it a wee burnish. Okay, now to put the little panels on. Perfect. So I'm going to cough. <coughs> Still a bit chesty, but feeling much better, folks. So many bugs going about just now. Like these have a smaller border than the other panels, but that's absolutely fine. I was wanting that. I'll just slide them into place. Okay, and then we want to do the front of those wee panels. I really love the um, Night of Navy 
that's our dark blue with the white contrast. It's so pretty. Such a nice bold colour. What's everyone else up to today? Anybody sitting at their craft table just now? The replay from this morning's cards available on YouTube, guys. So, um, for those of you that haven't um, visited my channel yet, it's Smith's Crafty Creations on YouTube. Ta-da! Right, there's one card. Let's mat in there the other one. So get these wee bad boys together. Perfect. Right. Sometimes it's nice to come on and just do a live random lay when you feel like you're home alone with no one to talk to. Because you guys always chew me up. Right, there's the first layer inside. Let's get this one on. Make sure it's the right way. Yep. Just line that up with the inside piece. Perfect. What a fabulous little, fabulous little card design, though. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I've done to my, my knuckle. It's been bleeding today. I must have caught it on a cupboard or something. You know, when you're doing stuff and you just bash your sail about a bit and you don't realise. Oops. There we go. And then for the other side. Yes, it will be. The, the card that I made this morning, Lorraine, is on YouTube already. Which is this one. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll come on and I'll do another one. Um, I was just kind of casing the card this morning and I hadn't checked all the measurements until I was actually doing my live. So I'd made a bit of a booby with this band initially. But we got there. Perfect. Oh, see how that moved. Give your glue a chance to set, folks. A.K.A. Trusha. So it sits like that. And then we put a little panel in the middle. But first we need to add some Designer Series paper. So I've pop these to the side. So again, we need one for here. Um, and four little bits for these little panels. Because don't want to put it on the end. Oops, don't want to put it on the, the inside because um, we're going to be writing on the inside. It's nice and dry here in Fife, where I am. It is lovely, joking. Oh, no. Hmm. Hang on, I just need to show my favourite racket outside. Oh, it's my son. He's on the phone. Outside, he's probably annoyed because I've shut the gates. The driveway gates. Right, so we need two panels for the front of both cards and eight little uh, matte layers. Uh, it's nice but cold here in Kale, so yeah, I felt that this morning when I was out with the dogs. So the top's going to be three and five eighths by three and three eighths. No. Five and three eighths by three and a half. Three and five eighths by three and a half. Three and a half. So three and a half by three and five eighths, she said. Right. Okay. So just cut those. <coughs> Sorry, my chest's horrid just now. Oh, I've cut them short, have I? Oh, no, I've not. Okay, so the pattern's going that way, that's fine. 
Do think about that when you're cutting your designer series paper. Because you can have it up or down or that way. I quite like it that way, actually. So it means that I need to remember that and follow the same direction for the little four, pa four little panels. So we need four little panels that measure um, one and seven eighth wide by one and three quarters in height. So let's cut this down to one and three quarters to make sure that's the right way. Yep. Oh, and that's exactly one and three quarters by one and seven eighths. So we need four for each card. Now I am going to have to um, cut into a new piece of designer series paper, but that's fine. I really love this blue. Da -da 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 -da. So hubby's away down to Coldstream, down south of um, down south, and. Let me just cut this first one and three quarters for the football. And I'm just so glad I stayed home today because it is colder. Right, so following the same direction. Oh, no, that's not. That's a different direction. So we want the line going across. So one and three quarters. Let's try that again, Trisha. By one and seven eighths. So we need four of these. That's correct. That's right now. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, and four. So, we don't need the trimmer again until we're doing our front panel. So, I'll just pop this to the side. And then we need to start layering up. Right, let's do this. So four wee panels there. Right, let's start with the front. That is just beautiful. It's really good our stamping up papers because you usually get like a busier pattern on one side and then a plainer, um, a simpler pattern on the, on the reverse on the B side. Okay, these are fab. It's nice to get some time just to sit and craft. I find it distracting when everybody's in the house. Um, so it's nice when everybody's out and I can just sit and concentrate. Okay, there's the other one. Oh, keep it in shot. And then we need to do the back, which is actually the front. <laughs> I've seen these designs before, but when you actually are sent a card with a fancy fold, it makes you want to do it even more, like have a little go. I don't know where I've put Gemma's original card that she sent me, actually. Oh, I see it. I see it. Always give credit to those that you're casing, especially if it's a lovely lady on your Stampin' Up! team. So there's the Gemma's one that she done. And it's just gorgeous. So you can find Gemma on YouTube, the crafty little gem. She does some amazing she's she does prefer 3D projects over um cards, but she's such a good card maker. Right, okay. You'll find lots of inspiration over there. Okay, so Dun, 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 dun. Sorry if anybody's commenting, it doesn't seem to be moving much on my little screen. Now you're probably thinking, mm, it's a smaller border here, but I've done that on purpose. Um, because when the cards open, I just like when it's a smaller, smaller matte and layer section, I do like to use smaller increments for some reason. Must just be weird. I must be weird. Yeah, so I've used an eighth of an inch um, border for those panels rather than a quarter. But you can adjust it as you wish. Okay, so let me just um, burn the sheets down a wee bit before I create 
on the wonkness. <laughs> so have you been managing to craft much Lorraine or anybody else that's watching? Sometimes, well, normally I would make a card and then I'd move on to something else. But I'm quite liking enjoying making a little handful of the same card. Also a good idea if you want to maybe sell them in packs of three or packs of five. Right, so just give it all a good burnish. That's my older son coming in now. He's been working overtime today. He's an apprentice with the local council and he's really enjoying it. Hello everybody that's joining. I just need to show it to him. I'm just in the live, pal. Right, ta-da. Now we need to do the front panel. So, let me set them aside just now. I've got a wee bit glue stuck on there. So, we need same colour cardstock as your card base. Now, I've got a wee piece here that can be cut down. Let's see what other scraps I have in the front of my pack. I think that'll, that very may well be, may well be too little. Here's another piece. So here's all the scrap bits, here's the full size bits. Love it. Right, so it needs to measure. Um, where is my instructions? So it needs to measure two and a half by four and a half. Oh, would you look at that? That is two and a half. Oh, that's by four. Too small. Right, so two and a half. I've got plenty of this card, so by four and a half. So two that measure four and a half by two and a half. So I need to have a good rummage in here again. Here's another panel. Perfect. So... Two and a half by two and a half. Or two and a half by four and a half. Lorraine's a little bit in limbo. Oh dear, that's right, honey. Oh, bless. Heather and um, Elena are lovely. Sorry to hear you're going through that. Must be tough. But it does help having good supportive people around you. I think Heather's actually away to the um, Putler's team retreat. Yes, yeah, she is actually this weekend. So I'm going to miss her because normally I see her at these things, but I'm not going this year, this this season. I did go in the um, spring. Right, I'm just cutting the stamping layer, so two and a quarter by four and a quarter. To the side. The sun is really shining here. Four and a quarter by two and a quarter. So we need two of those as we're making two cards. It's good to keep busy because sometimes when you're just kind of sitting around, it makes you more tired. Oh, second time. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. That's a long a long time in between, isn't it? Hope your treatment's not for too long. These things seem to go on for long periods though, don't they, the treatment? Or long cycles at a time. Crafting will keep you sane. Right, we're just putting these on the mats. Now we're going to stamp on these before we stick them on the card. So this is where we need the two um, circle die cuts. So these are from the Spotlight on... Where are they? Spotlight on Nature? Can't remember, it's um, slipped off my tongue. So we're going to stamp in here and we're also going to stamp on the bottom. So the first card I made, I used a little robin, which is just beautiful. 
So I think using the So Very Mary, I will use the bells on one of them and then the gingerbread house on the other. These fit perfectly as well, which is a good option, but um, you would colour these if you wanted or anything you like. These also fit the two and a, um, is it the two and a quarter? Or the two and, let's see, it's an online exclusive punch. What's the measurement of it? Two and three eighths of an inch. So this is good for punching it out if you don't have circle dies. Right, so let's do this. Knight of Navy out. Need to be very careful it doesn't go all over me. Right, so stamping blocks back out. It's crazy because I'd literally just tidied up all of my desk. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do some more crafting. Now, I've not used the wee gingerbread house one yet. Oops. So the wee gingerbread house. Put it in the middle. Right, so it's the circles that we're stamping on. Uh, I'm putting it towards the bottom of the circle because I want to put um, sentiment up here. That's pretty. Right, where's my chamois? I'm just going to clean as I go. Anything with white, move it out the way in case you get it all inky. Such a beautiful day. I actually feel like going out another walk, but I think that will um, zap up too much energy, so I'll need to suffice with a little bath. Right, next one is the bells. Dug in, stamping it towards the bottom. <gasps> lovely, lovely. Now, I think that's maybe a wee bit too close to the bottom. But there is a smaller stamp in this set as well, and it's a little bit of mistletoe. So let's get the bell back on. Twice in one day, Cheryl Amanda. <laughs> I'm doing good, am I? <laughs> um, I'm just going to stamp that there. That's quite cute. And I'm going to stamp another one here. No, I think that's too much. Let me clean that off. I should have maybe thought about placement of that one. I forgot it was a smaller stamp. Right, so now we need the sentiment. Now, the one I used on the other card said, um, peace and joy, but I think I'll use the other sentiment, which is curved, that says, very merry. So let's pick that up. And we are going to stamp that here. Lovely, clean, crisp. Stamping, love it. And this one, mm, this one's a bit awkward because. Oh no, that looks nice. Just to, at the angle that the house is actually at. That's the first time I've used that stamp. And I didn't even plan to use this stamp set today, it just kind of happened. Cheryl's just in from shop and I realised I was, got a message, I was like, that's good. That Facebook told people, especially as it was just a random. Right, now, one more bit of stamping. We want to stamp um, a sentiment on the bottom of these panels. So, um, I can do, oh, what fun, or tis the season to be jolly. I think I'll do tis the season to be jolly, because that text there matches the one that we've just actually stamped. Plus, it fills more of a space on the bottom. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. You're so kind. Now I've got ink all over my my block because I'm obviously being a bit messy today. So, nice, easy stamping. You can stamp straight because the clear blocks are just fabulous. Right, so clean that off. You can see I've got ink on the other side. So I'm just going to just give that a wee wipe. That will need a soak because look, it's all blue. I don't normally get my, my um, stamping blocks as dirty. 
but this um, ink pad's just so juicy. Right, so I'm just going to close that without using my fingers. But look, still get covered. <gasps> Dead name it. Right. So what we're going to do is close this over and we're going to adhere this panel. Right, so wet glue. Now, when I made this card on the live earlier, I moved it before it had set. Well, I'd set it so that it was centre. And then when I opened up the card, it moved. So I'm just going to give it a wee minute. And you can see I've smudged it a little bit there. So give it a second to set before you faff about with it. Look at Hayley. Hayley chopped her outside. Oh, hi, Wendy. That's no worries. It was just an impromptu life, honey. I've got the same tutorial up over on YouTube that you can watch at your leisure. So again, just make sure that's centered. Give it a wee second to take. Lovely. Right, now we're going to pop this on the top. Um, oh, and that covers that wee smudge pretty much. But we're going to use um, dimensionals. It's really nice, the colour, isn't it? Really nice. Right, what am I looking for, dimensionals? You could add ribbon or what have you, but I think um, the card is beautiful as it is. Don't need a lot of dimensionals because these are super, super reliable. Once it's down, it's down. Now we just need to make sure that we put this on straight. Okay, so we just want to lift this up and place it down, kind of in the centre. Okay, now for this one, and then we'll look and see how it is when it's all standing up. Fab. So again, Wendy still loves Night of Navy and White. It's just, just pops so much, doesn't it? One of my favourite colours is the Night of Navy. Ta-da! So, all we do is you open it up, you put these two little panels here, and you can see how it stands, like a little easel card. It's a blooming great idea, so... Should have seen these around quite a few times, but they set up really nice. Um, of course, you can add a panel to the back if you want, if you want to hide this join. But to be honest, nobody's going to really look at the back of the card. I did put a panel on the back. Um, so if you've got plenty of DSP or papers you need to use, by all means, cover the whole lot. But um, I think the bare minimum is just on the front, to be honest. So one more thing to do is add some basic rhinestone jewels. And these are always a winner in my eyes because they go pretty much with everything. Do, 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 do. Except maybe projects that have got gold on them because you would want to use gold embellishments. So we're going to use three. So let's do this. I need my little pokey tool. Okay, so we need the larger, the medium, because there's three sizes, and then we'll put the teeny one down here. And that just sets the whole card off, doesn't it? I love it. If you wanted, you could add a wink of Stella into this, and it would blend in your, your inks if you wanted a wee shaded look. Right, this one now. Again, large and medium, 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 in the top right corner, and the little teeny baby one down here. Perfect. These are fab. You can put sentiments on the inside if you wish, um, or just leave it blank so that you can write to and from in it. But I think they're really great. So that's me now with three. And those papers aren't even Christmas themed. 
So it just shows how if you just um, try out new colours, try the B-side of your DSP and stuff like that, and it really makes it um, something different. Love it. Right, guys, well, I'm going to go and get a fresh coffee, um, rinse out my um, carpet cleaner, wash my bath, and then run a nice hot bath. Um, I might walk the dogs again first, actually, get some fresh air. Um, I've been staring at these four walls for hours now. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming on. Keep sharing your makes in the group because you just don't know who you're going to um, inspire. A lot of the time you guys inspire me as well because, let's face it, we all get crafters block or times when we just don't feel creative and all it takes is seeing someone's project to kind of kickstart that crafty engine again. So please do keep sharing, folks, and I appreciate every one of you that's here. I'll see you all later. Enjoy your weekend, guys, and um, till the next time. Bye now.